Naomi, what can I say? Uh, outstanding job in this movie. And honestly, emotionally, I don't know how you got through it. Thank you. <laughs> Physically, it was pretty demanding as well. Um, definitely, emotionally, physically, the, the most demanding it's, it's been for a long time, yeah. As a mom, though, really, when you read the script, does, how, do, how do you even take on a, a part like this? Is it an important thing to do? Yeah, I mean, it just resonated with me because I'm a mom, I think, you know, obviously this, it's the tsunami that, that we're talking about in this film, but in, in the inside of that is, is this really intimate piece of storytelling about a family. And that's something um, we all know about in some way. And uh, yeah, that, that's the, the relationship between me and the oldest boy, Tom Holland, who plays that, who's just extraordinary. That was, that was uh, just beautiful, that story and how they, you know, they think the rest of the family is gone and it just becomes about the two of them and surviving and getting to the next place and how present they are and, and how she watches her son worry about her and it becomes so important that she leaves him with a good, a good lesson. Yeah, um, she's he is sure extraordinary. He is in extraordinary, movie. yeah. You know, just working with a, a young man like that must make you, you know, so thankful that there's good kids like that yeah, in the world. Uh, yeah, and he's going to be a great man. Some young lady's going to be very happy one day. <laughs> how do you, you know, after each day and it's wrap or cut, whatever, and then how do you kind of get back into kind of normal mode and then go back and shooting? Like, how did it work for you? you know? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely tough, but it's my duty. Every day I would finish, I'd get out of, it. getting out of hair and makeup was quite a process itself, you know, because you just yeah. had to get all this, um, these wounds off and dirt and um, I had a wig on and um, all, all these, th that would take about a good 45 minutes and sometimes when we had the wounds, you know, the prosthetic ones, um, even longer. So that would be my, my time to just let go yeah. um, because once you get in the door at home, that's it, even with the kids and, and it's not fair to to bring that in. There was a time I used to do that, but that was before I was a mom. Yeah, oh yeah, life changes, that's yeah. for sure. You know, I'm wondering, you know, you've given us so many amazing performances, and I'm wondering, what was it for you, whether you were a girl growing up, or you watched a movie, or saw an actor that you thought, you know, this is what I want to do for my living. Was there something like that? There were lots. There were, um, I mean, Julie Christie was a big one, and in Don't Look Now, I remember thinking she was extraordinary. Um, I mean, Meryl Streep, obviously, Jessica Lange and Francis Farmer. Um, so many. Uh, Jenna Rollins, yeah, they were all great female actors that were just, I got caught up in, yeah. Good role models, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, next we're going to see you uh, playing Princess Di. I can't wait to see the, your performance in that. And that had to have been a really amazing experience, too, I would think. Wow, to take on that woman and play her. Wow. Yeah, um, not an easy decision because obviously. It comes with a lot of pressure because everyone knows her so well or thinks they know her well. And so it's, you know, everyone's going to have their comparisons and their comments and ideas of how she should be. Yeah. But um, I liked the script, yeah. Yeah, um, can't wait to see that. Well, like I say, absolutely incredible job in this, really. I mean, get your dresses ready for all, oh. those, all those Oscars and everything else because you really are outstanding in this, Naomi. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. you really you. moved me to tears, and I'm not kidding. A whole box of Kleenex for this one. Oh, <laughs> thank you.